a loader in Cornish one. Mm. Good morning to you all. So keeping up with my promise that I will make a small review for each series I finished of so last uh, night I finished uh, a series called Ixion Saga DT and this is a an intuition series that is based on an uh, online game called Ixion Saga uh, by Capcom. Uh, the series began airing on 6th of October of 2012 and finished on the 3rd of March of 2013. Um, there is also uh, two manga, I think, and one light novel based on Earth. Um, about the series, uh, this was at the start. I honestly only started to watch this series because. Honestly, I like the, the title of the series. It was kind of different. Uh, and then, ooh, after watching the, the first episodes, well, I honestly think that, okay, this is a, in some way a cliche, cliche series, because the main character goes from the real world and is propelled to an alternative world, uh, alternative dimension uh, and so on. There were uh, in the last years quite a lot of series that ro uh, revolved around this kind of, of line and then the character meets a group of people in that alternative world or parallel world or alternative dimension and by mainly his goal is to return to his original world okay i was thinking about it so what then right at the first episode you will start to see the comedy and the non-consensual non the story does not follow um, a normal plot line I was this, this. but I kept watching and uh, well I must say I am pretty surprised Mm. The plot line uh, is not uh, something else. It's not uh, from blow mind, blow mind, or something like that. There is a couple of characters that appear that are very interesting. One is the main character mm, called Kon Okaze. Is the guy that goes from the or goes from our old to that alternative world. Uh, he gains the nickname of DT. Uh, or that's interesting because it's a comedy uh, term, a comedy term in some way, but if you want to look on it, uh, go to Google or something like that, do some research on your own. Um, and the main antagonist is a guy called Red Pile Lukakis, short for ED. <laughs> and there are other characters that were uh, quite interesting a, a big swordsman that uh, likes cats um, a transsexual male that was different uh, a bunch of uh, perverted guys masochist, sadomasochist and some, uh, well but this is not a um, 
don't uh, get the wrong idea this is not uh, uh, each series uh, this is a comedy series uh, but sometimes the episodes are so absurd um, or you even have episodes inside episodes that are completely even more absurd than the overall series in any case the goal of this is a comedy I, w I ended up watching all the episodes because I was, I was quite curious to know if they, sh if they will be able to continue on the comedy side right until the last episode in some way they did it uh, the last episodes of the series in some way gain a little more about plotline but nothing else nothing from the other world it's not and uh, the comedy is still there um, so if you want to watch a series that does not uh, demand you that you think a lot or if you do you are not one that like series that make you think or try to understand how the characters are thinking or what to their goals may be and something like that and if you are just watching series if you need a break a short break or if you want uh, a, a log a laugh um, you should watch this series if this series is the, is perfect for that so due to that fact uh, I like the comedy a lot um, However, I also like uh, a series that possess some comedy, but uh, some way has also a good plot line. Some the characters in this series are different. Uh, however, I will rating this series from one to five. I will give it uh, a three. Um, in terms, simply in the terms of comedy, it's great. Uh, there are two or three episodes that are very hard, very, very, very hard to digest. Um, but the others are quite funny. They several times a lot uh, in the episodes on the series they. refer other animes in a, in a parody way uh, it's worth it's worthwhile if you wa just want to lock, lock a bit or if you just want to take a short break from more serious from serious series that you might be watching and you simply need to watch a series a series that does not demand too much of your brain watch this series um, it's in worthwhile and is interesting well this is my overall anime review for Ixion Saga BT hope you enjoy stay well